Today we're going to dive into the steps on how you can create a free website for affiliate marketing or you want to create a website and start a blog and over time you generate passive income with that blog. I know starting off with businesses online can be very difficult if you have zero dollars in your bank account or in your wallet or whatever place you keep your money. And so if your business requires a website and you don't have that kind of money to purchase a domain and a hosting for that website, then you might want to use the free alternatives. And today's video, I'm going to take you through the steps on how you can create a free website with a tool called Striking Me. Let's dive into it. My name is Ol Jones and today's video, I'm going to dive into the steps on how you can create a free website with a tool called Striking Me. Websites are very important for people who want to create a business online or make money online in such a way that websites can help you make money with affiliate marketing. You can make money from your website by running ads on the website. Another way you can make money on your website is to sell your own digital products or courses on that website or offer services on that website as well. And so you owning a website today can generate you passive income for the rest of your life. I know most of you go by creating a website with a WordPress method and buying a domain from Hostinga or Hostgator. And if you want a quick and easy way to create a website for your affiliate marketing products, your stores, you can use strikingly.com. I'll leave a link in the description. You can click on that link. It'll take you to strikingly.com. Sign up with your Gmail, email and then from there you can start creating websites so i'm going to take you to how you can use the platform to create websites these are some of the pros and cons about strikingly website builder now let's talk about the pros easy to use website building to attractive themes with responsive design um, it lets you switch templates without rebuilding your website excellent uptime and then a free tab which means that the free membership, it is free forever. So they offer free membership with 500 megabytes of hosting and then a domain that has strikingly name in it. And let's talk about the cons, which are like disadvantages. Now, less customization than competing website builders. So Wix and WordPress, Elementor, they are more advanced than strikingly. Another disadvantage is that many standard features require a premium account. Now, when you purchase for the premium account, it doesn't come along with so many advanced features unlike WordPress and Elementor and Wix.com. At the end of this video, you'll be able to create a responsive website like what I created for Else Hustle and you'll be able to post blogs and start to generate money over time with SEO if you optimize your SEO very well with the two court cameras, which I'm about to discuss. In the later part of the video all right so first to sign up with striking you need to head on to strikingly.com and i'll leave a link in the description you can click on that link it's going to take you to this website and you're going to sign in with your gmail and then your email account if you have one if you don't have one you can also go and create it now this is the interface or the dashboard you see after signing up you need to confirm your email after signing up as well and so from here what we need to do is that we need to head on to create a new site now first of all i've created a new site here and this is how your domain will look like for the free membership you can also check out the the plans of striking the end so we have a limited plan which is eight dollar per month and you can switch to monthly or yearly two years three years and what we are looking for right here is free plan the free plan you get unlimited free sites um strikingly.com domain like i said earlier and five gigabyte monthly bandwidth which is quite okay and a 500 megabyte total storage per site which is the hosting they host it for you and they give you a domain with strikingly.com in it all right so you can check it out i'll leave a link in the description let's go back to create a website now this is how you create a website and we're going to create a website from scratch all right, so this is a cool website that I created for Else Hustle, and you can see Else Hustle right here, blog, resources, service contact, recent posts, and it's very interactive and responsive. So I'm going to take you through the steps on how you can create a website like this for your affiliate marketing products, your stores, or whatever you want to create. So let's go back to the dashboard and then click on the create new site. Once you click on create new site, it's going to take you to a page where you need to select a template. And you can see right here that there are lots of templates right here. So depending on the category you want, you can select. So we have stores right here and you can view an example, which is a preview of the store. And then you can, yeah. So if you want to create a shoe 
um, e-commerce store, uh, whatever store you want to create, you can create it or select this template right here. So today we're going to create a page or a website from scratch. So we're going to click on blank and then we're going to select the template and we're going to click on start editing. All right, so this is the page that will be brought to you when you click on start editing. The first thing we need to do is to add a website logo and you click on edit and then you click on upload. You'll be given an option to upload new images or you browse your computer for it or you upload images that you have already imported into um, strikingly. And so I'm going to select the first image right here. You can see that I've uploaded images right there. All right. so. The image will be imported into Strikely and the next thing is to add a site title. If you don't want to add a site title, you can delete everything in the box right there and then you leave it like that. But for this one, I'm going to add a site title and I'm going to type in digital.com. Alright, let's move on to the next step. We'll be customizing the header layout of the website and for the free membership, that is what you get. You get a button on the header and so here you can type in anything login whatever you want and then you select the options um link url and then you put in a link right there and so that is how you do it so here i'm going to type in sign up and i'm going to type in email and i'm going to click on save and so you can customize it to anyhow you want it the next thing we are going to take a look at is adding menus to your header section of your website what we are going to do here is that we are going to add pages to our header section of our website and so you can continue and up to five pages add up to five pages with a free account what you need to do is to go to manage and then from here you click on add new page you can type in any page and then a uh, new website should have an about page generally or mostly it should have an about page it should have a blog in it you can click on the check-in sign to add it and you can see that it's being added on the website The next thing we need to add is a contact page and this is very essential on a website where people can reach out to you and ask for their opinions or whatever they want from you. So these are the main pages. You can add the feed one which is a service page and remember we only have five pages to add to our website because you are using a free version and so you can do this your blog, your home, your service, your contact and about for any affiliate marketing website or whatever affiliate niche you are in so services aside adding pages you can also add links such as facebook links and other links to the header section of your website and so you can see that you can delete it by clicking the s symbol and it's going to delete the next thing we are going to do is that we're going to dive into the styles this and this is where you actually design your website here you can change the template and the, the template wouldn't affect the website to just change the template and wouldn't change your sections or whatever thing you put on the website and you can see right here that when you go to um, change template you can select a variety of free templates right here and then you can add to your website we're not going to dive deep into this we are going to go back and customize our website the next thing we are going to do here is that we are going to change the fonts, sections, buttons, and sign up, and whatever thing you have there. And so here we are going to access the fonts. To change the fonts, you first click on title, and it is on it a font. You can change it to any font you want. I'm going to search for Poppins right here. And uh, Poppins is a, a font that I love so much. It is nice. It makes your website look very attractive. And so you can search for Poppins yourself. If you are creating your website and then you are going to select any of the preferred fonts right there if you can't create a website on your own you can hit me up i'm going to create one for you or you can take inspiration from people's website and and then use that inspiration to create your own website so from here we're going to change the fonts for every section um, of the website if you don't like the font just change it and that's basically understandable let's move on to the next step anytime you make changes to the font it will definitely reflect on the preview at the right side of your editing space and so yeah the next thing to do is to edit the header and the navigation section and this is the layout for the header you can customize it and bring the menus to the middle or change it to the left or right and we have and we have lots of layout sections right there 
you can change the padding to small to large or medium you can add social media icons to the header you can make the header sticky you can turn on the sticky navigation which will allow your logo to get stuck on your website anywhere you go you can also change the color of your header let's turn on the social media icon options on the header and then you can click on edit once you click on edit you type in your instagram tiktok or whatever social media platforms you have handles here and so i'm going to type in instagram dot com forward slash else hustle and automatically the two will detect um if it's instagram or not you can see that it has imported my instagram instagram logo on the header and so that is how you add your social media icons to your website in the header all right the next thing we're going to take a look at is the sections and you can make customizations right here by um assigning the content with the padding content alignment and then yeah the shapes of everything so this is very understandable you can configure them yourself and let's move on to the next part of the video the next thing you're going to do is customize buttons and to change the color of a button you click on the color code and then it's going to give you the options to change um the color of a button i'm going to switch this one to blue and you can align it and you can see the color changes once you're done click on save and then yeah you go back to the shape of your button you can you can change the shape of your button to any shape that you want and here you can assign the text and color of your website which is quite okay for me i'm going to leave it like that here you can change the page animation and the page scroll and so that is how you can basically style your page to go back you click on back to site design and then it's going to go back the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to add sections to the pages if your website hosts a store you can add a store to the pages but we're not going to do that right here you can select your audience and customize your audience people who sign up to your website your audience list live chat membership and automation and so you can send email with these two as well let's go back to site design and i have a full block on how you can actually use this on my medium account so i'll leave a link in the description the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to add a sections and to add sections you click on add new section you click on the specific page let's say home and then you go back and click on add new section it is very simple to use so let's just go back right here and then try to add the sections all right so you're going to click on add new section right here and then you have lots of options and so depending on the reference you made on your website or how you want to create your website you select whatever thing that you want to import or section that you want to import so from here let's let me just go through and select anything here you can add a book now section and then you click to add an event and so you'll be given the option to customize an event by clicking add new type or add event type and you type the event name description you import an image let's go back and then delete this one we are not booking for any events but this is how you actually do it you can also click on add a new section and look for whatever thing you want to add you can add a portfolio which i am not going to add right now and this is a product showcase um you can add products right here you can delete it by clicking the s symbol as usual you can let's go back and add a new section to this you can go back and then mostly people use their blog as their home page but i'm not doing this in this um video what we are going to do is that we are going to select a feature list and then import it right here and then here depending on your website or the type of website you want to create you can adjust make adjustments or you can make references and use to create your website you don't necessarily have to be a professional to create a website on your own if you can create a website you can hit me up on instagram at else hustle and i'm going to do due diligence and then create a website for you so you can import anything that you want to import depending on how your website is to so purchase how it works what we do how it works and then you can make customizations to all of these the, because it's a free membership most of the features will be limited on this page and you make sure that you, you utilize this really well and this is like some sort of a sign up page 
and this will actually make a home screen if you change the images and make customizations to the website and remember that they actually give you 500 megabyte hosting on the website and the domain has strikingly name in it the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to head on to blog and then we select and add a blog to the website it's very simple so once you click on add blog it's going to add a blog you can make customizations at the top right there and i haven't posted any blog on this website so you are not going to see anything right let's make some few customizations to our blog page here we're going to delete the test here and you can't delete the section so you leave it like that and here the blog i can change the color to blue by selecting it and changing the color to blue we are then going to go on to contact and we are going to add a contact section to do this we need to click on add new section and then we're going to go through and look for contact right so i think i've seen a contact form right here and we have contact sign up forms or whatever form you want to put there you put there and you customize it all right the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to add a feature list to our services page and then you can list your services right here and what you do on that service you can add links to those services which will lead to um, a new page where you offer services or something like that right and then your whatever you do on your website is saved automatically all you need to do is to click on publish and it's going to publish the website for you we are going to take a look at how you can publish blogs on your website to do this you click on the options that says publish new blog and again and then you click on write a post you'll be brought to this page where you can customize your blog post and this is how it usually look like the first thing i'll do is to change the background because this background is awful so i'm going to click on background select color and change it to white you can add a blog post title uh, this is where semrush comes in i'm going to explain what semrush does in a while i'm going to leave a link in the description you can sign up to semrush here when you publish post on your website this is how it's going to look like on your blog section of your website and you can see that i've published three posts or three blogs on my website and it's looking very fantastic and amazing this is a professional website created by me and so if you need a website like this you contact me i'm going to create one for you the next thing we are going to take a look at is you're going to go back and then add a blog post and you can write um, a title you can write anything you want you can add um, this is where you type it says start writing you can add images videos buttons separators and html codes into the website you can also add categories and then you click on add category and then you type in the type of category you want so here i'm going to type in affiliate marketing uh, because i don't know which type of website you will be creating and so if it's a pet website you can select dogs cats or whatever category that you want Let's head on back to Elsaso's website and you can see that the website is very interactive and this is how your website is going to look like once you publish a blog. I'm not going to publish a blog in this tutorial because it's going to make it long. Once you're done, click on publish. It's going to publish your blog for you. Let's, order, let's go back to the editor and then you can also access your blog settings right here. From here, what we're going to do is that we are going to head on and then go to settings. So these are the settings for your website and then you can actually search for a domain and buy the domain here and then when you upgrade your account you get a free domain for one year which is also a bonus point and yeah this is your url and you can click on basic and then you change your site name so digital.com the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to type in a category and i'm going to type business and your site description what your site is about i'm not going to type that one in because it's going to take a lot of time you select your language and here you add a favicon to your website and to do this it's very simple you click on the favicon symbol right there and then you import a favicon symbol to your website you can add a social media or social share image and you can add the same image as your favicon on your website logo the next thing to do take a look at is payments and so this is when you have a store and you collect payment with that store it is very simple so they take payments through paypal stripe and square and offline payments and so you can configure whatever payment that you want email notifications and this is where someone signs into your email or your website or something like that and this is where you receive locations or if you want to send locations to people you can customize the mobile site to customize the header and foot display and yeah 
every settings here is self-explanatory once you're done you click on save and then you know, it will be saved into your website all right so this is going to be a quick preview of your website and once you click on preview it's going to take you to a preview page where it, this is how your website will look like and once you've customized the images and everything is going to look very professional you can follow me or hit me up on instagram and ask me any questions that is bothering you about digital marketing or starting an online business and i'm going to answer you if you need a website as well you can hit me up on I tell us also on no social media platforms and I'm going to help you out. So this is how our website will look like after you are done creating it. Resources this is where you I compile the list of tools that I use and it's affiliate marketing, right? And services this is where I offer my services and then contact. We're going to move on on to the SEO section and to do this, we're going to use a tool called SEMrush. So let's look at some of the features of SEMrush. Now, SEMrush is an SEO tool which captivates your audience online with all key channels with just one platform. It can help you grow your online business with faster with over 55 plus tools for SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and social media marketing. You can start a free trial today. I'll leave a link in the description to SEMrush and then you can use it to write your titles for your blogs and then insert keywords into your blog post right so that'll be all for today i'm going to see you guys in the next one i'll leave all resources in the description you can click on every link right there and then you sign up to semrush um strikingly.com and then you start building your website if you can't do it you can hit me up on instagram or else also and i'm going to assist you and guide you through how you can create a website